Today we're going to be looking at Strawberry Leopard in the color Blue Steel. So I have my swatches labeled 1 through 12, but I did want to say that that is not synonymous with hair levels. I do different video clips and pictures near the end of the video, so the numbers just help us keep track of each swatch. They are human hair swatches, but the only one that's going to be virgin hair is the number 4 black swatch. The rest have been chemically colored or bleached at some point in their existences. One is pink. I kind of wanted to see if it would turn purple mixed with the blue. Two is gray. Three is a natural red. Four, again, is black. So four all the way up to 11 is a range that goes to a platinum blonde. And then 12 is like a toned version of number 11. So I will start by taking the dye directly from the container and I will put it at the top of each swatch. Then some people do like to dilute their dyes. So I will do a diluted version at the bottom of each swatch. Please keep in mind, Everyone's hair is different, which means everyone's hair will take color differently. Plus, different screens and monitors can make colors look different. So please just use my video as a reference for how this could possibly turn out for you. Nostalgia coming through When it's just me and you We think of everything For the diluted section, we're going to do a 1 to 4 ratio. So that is going to be one part of our dye to four parts diluter. If you do not know what diluter is, my simple answer that I like to just give really quickly is that it's something that kind of lightens the color of a semi-permanent dye. Usually each brand will sell its own diluter that you can mix with its colors if you'd like, but to keep things a little bit more fair, I just use a plain white conditioner for diluting. Alright, so I really want these to absorb the color, so I'm going to let them sit for about three hours with the dye on. I will then rinse them out, and when they're dry, I will meet you back here. So I will admit, I actually expected this to turn out a lot lighter because I was basing it off of the color on the packaging. I probably should have looked it up, but if you're like me and thinking it's going to be a color like this, it's definitely a lot darker and actually a little bit more warm toned as well. Mostly because I think for most people, getting yellow out of the hair is very difficult. The number two swatch was originally gray, which is relatively cool toned underneath, and you see the least amount of green in that swatch. But if you just have blonde hair or even toned hair, you still might get a little bit of that greenish coming through, which it is pretty. It's just you don't really see that on the packaging. So if you're expecting it to be more cool toned, it probably won't be. But of course, it could depend on your hair as well. Number one was originally pink, and that one actually did help with the cooling down of the color as well. The direct dye portion does look like a smoky kind of midnight blue. 
the diluted section it still looks really cool toned but i do see some pink coming through so i think your hair would have to be a little less pink if you wanted to dilute this but the pink i think cancels out some of that green which helps it to look more cool three was originally the natural red and basically on like three five six seven and kind of eight as well the direct dye portions all have a lot of green pulling through which i think comes from the warmth in the hair but the cool thing is that the diluted section doesn't look as red as it did before it looks a little bit closer to like the five or the six so you could maybe dilute this to cancel out some red tones if you maybe wanted to but of course again strand testing is very important <laughs> number four was black so there's no difference there if we're looking at the diluted section, I don't see much color coming through until the number seven swatch, but it's still relatively green looking and you don't get a lot of blue pulling through until the number nine for the diluted section and even the direct dye section. I think my personal favorite is number 11, but it does look really good on 9, 10, and 12 as well. It just looks a little bit more saturated on the number 11. Obviously, it looks a little more cool toned on the tone swatch, but not quite as bright, but of course that, you know, is preference. So for comparisons, I wanna start with my most similar that I currently have, and that is Arctic Fox in the color Blue Jean Baby. This is comparable to number 12, Number 11, number 10, and number 9. So first I want to say that I used to do two separate diluted parts. So this was diluted and then this was diluted more, which is why these swatches look like that. So the top half here is going to be direct dye. As for undertone, especially if you look at like 12, you can kind of see, hopefully anyways, that the Blue Jean Baby leans a little bit more blue, but just a touch. And then Blue Jean Baby also doesn't seem to be quite as pigmented, like if you look at the 9 and the 10 swatches, especially the 9 swatch, it doesn't seem to be covering as much. So I think if you're someone whose hair lightens easily, you could totally get away with the Blue Jean Baby, but if you have a harder time lightening your hair and getting the yellow tones out, the Strawberry Leopard Blue Steel seems to be a little bit more pigmented and might get you a better result because it does seem like on the blonde swatch that the Blue Jean Baby is kind of struggling to cover the yellow in the hair. But for the millionth time, your hair might be different. <laughs> for my next comparison, I'm gonna do Lunar Tides in the color Smoky Teal. This is comparable to number 12, number 11, number 10, and number nine. Lunar Tides actually has a whole line of more smoky colors, so I sort of in between which ones to compare because they have one called Smoky Navy, and this is the Platinum Blonde swatch for that. You can see it leans way, way, way more cool toned in comparison, so I thought the Smoky Teal was a better comparison, but the Blue Steel from Strawberry Leopard still is more blue, and hopefully these comparisons help so you can see that it's not quite as cool toned as something like this, but it doesn't lean super duper crazily green like a smoky teal would. And in case you want to see, I will link these videos down below as well. All right, so now I'd like to get into the before and after clips. Those, as well as anything you see past this point in the video, will all be done in natural lighting.
I hope this video helped. If you have a request, I do have a link below to a Google form you can fill out. But just remember, I only do brands that do not test on animals. Thank you so, so much to my patrons and thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.